And so in the movement today, animal advocates language is often dominated by the terms animal abuse, cruelty, and being an animal lover. As vegan advocates, how might we make sure that the language that we use is consistent with a rights-based or abolitionist approach to animal rights? It's so important to bring people's attention to this. So if we compare the abolitionist rights position versus the reformist welfare position, what's happening in the movement at the moment is that the majority of the language we're using is the same as that used by the welfareists. Welfareism advocates against cruelty and abuse. And that's because speciesists consider themselves against cruelty and abuse. So we see this in all the, you know, welfare organisations, the RSPCA and um, uh, Compassion in World Farming, all this kind of thing. Um, but welfareism and speciesism both support the continuation of the use of other animals. Abolitionism doesn't. So then we have to ask ourselves, why are we choosing to use the same language? At best, it's confusing. And at worst, it doesn't even convey an abolitionist message. And if we never convey the message, how do we get abolition? We have to ask for what we want, right? So for me, the words that we use most in the movement, like cruelty, abuse and love, are very subjective terms. And they can mean very different things to different people. And in a species of society, we're, we're conditioned to interpret cruelty to abuse of and love for other animals in a certain way. And that way is a way that still supports use. And so then I think what happens is, as we evolve as animal advocates, our interpretation of these words evolves with us. But then we still use that same language to those who haven't evolved with us. So our meaning of the words is no longer the same as their understanding of those words. And so there's a disconnect right from the start. So when we say end cruelty, what we really mean is end all manipulated breeding, end use and murder. What they understand is, let's treat animals better while we use them and give them as quick and pain-free death as possible. So I'd say avoid using subjective and confusing terms like cruelty and abuse and be clear that we are against human supremacy. We're against use, against breeding, rights violations, enslavement and murder. And instead of asking for love, use words like justice, respect, freedom and equality. It's important that we remember as well that we don't have to love someone to respect their rights to freedom and autonomy. There's um, a brilliant group on Facebook, Unlearning Speciesist Language, which explores everything language related. Also check out Jeremy Hess's page, veganinteractions.com for some amazing resources to help with language and understand the rights position as well. 